Regional powers will also be keeping close tabs on the summit's outcome as denuclearization talks have ground to a halt in recent months. For the experts' take on different viewpoints, here's our Cha Sang-mi. Amid rising expectations for the 2018 inter-Korean summit in Pyongyang, regional powers are keeping close tabs on what will be discussed and agreed between the two Korean leaders. Arirang News interviewed experts from four neighboring countries to hear their opinions on the third inter-Korean summit of this year. I think now, in terms of U.S. foreign policy, specifically towards North Korea, I think there is more of a sentiment to try to work on a compromise. The American people are very tired of war. They're very tired of seeing Americans come back in body bags or, you know, having different you know, mental health issues because they've seen war. Citing the multiple fronts the U.S. is fighting on right now, including Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria, Harry Kaziani says that the American public seems more optimistic about Kim Jong-un's intention to denuclearize. A Chinese expert says that Beijing also wants to see a better inter-Korean relations. Well, that will help reduce the chance of another military conflict over the Korean Peninsula. And also, uh, China has a long-term interest uh, in uh, regional economic integration in Northeast Asia. If South Korea is able to forge a closer economic relationship with North Korea, that will also make it easier for China to enhance its economic and a trading cooperation with North Korea. A Russian expert reiterated the importance of resolving the issue with dialogue. Well, Russia has always supported the uh, strategy of uh, sorting out, of, uh, of uh, deciding all the problems in, on the Korean Peninsula by dialogue and diplomatic ways. Well, we are very much relieved that the new government, Moon Jin government, uh, is very positive both in relations uh, with North Korea and also with relation to Russia. As for Japan, which has been taking a hardline stance on the North due to issues such as the abduction of its citizens, the Pyongyang summit could serve as a catalyst for Pyongyang and Tokyo to normalize their ties too. If uh, South Korea and North Korea could promote a dialogue over the no uh, denuclearization issue between the United States and North Korea, that has a positive impact on Japan because that helps Japan and North Korea engage in dialogue uh, regarding normalization issue. The four neighboring countries may all have different issues with the regime, but they share a goal, establishing a lasting peace and a denuclearized Korean peninsula so that no one has to fear another war. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.